this is AG Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XV. Let's go pick up a weapon from Sid, Let's or our new upgraded weapon from Sid, and then we'll head to the Vesper Pool to see what's going on with the Black Chocobo, or the egg over there, what's left of them. We'll find out. Let's see, I think I planted some carrots also before I left. So let's uh, grab that before turning in the quest. So that we can plant some more. Not that I really need to. I'm not going to be nearly as obsessive now as I was before. Last riding with you. Or last time with getting all the carrots. The only thing I can really get out of it now is old Watts berries. But they can still be useful. But uh, yeah, let's uh, get up to Sid then. Where he's upgrading our weapons, I don't know. I and mean, where's all his tools and stuff. Are. But, in any case, away. yeah, we got a upgrade there. Not that I'll ever use it, but it is available. Oh, Anything else? Back. I don't think so. I think we just got, like, one more quest from it, or upgrade that we can do, or maybe there's another one, whatever it is. But, in any case, yeah, since we finished the quest, let's plant some more seeds. How's the weather looking? Very nice. But, uh, yeah, let's uh, rest up to uh, get the seeds to, well, whatever the word is for carrots sprouting. I was thinking of, like, blooming or something like a flower, but no, that wouldn't be right. But, uh, yeah, I do want to rest up here as long as we don't have a food buff to lose that I would care about. Now, when I'm going up to the Vesper Pool, I don't want to uh, use the Haven over Two there. Back. Hey! Uh, the reason is because there's a tour quest that we can do there now that we've got Gladio in the party. And it involves catching a fish. And I don't want to do that right now because it's a fairly difficult fish to catch. And I'm going to be getting some upgrades for my fishing gear in the near future anyway but i won't be able to well i mean i could but i wouldn't want to make it harder on myself than it has to be oh wow lots of uh carrots here huh well that's what happens when you uh plant the seeds at the right time look at this look but uh yeah let's go get as many old lot berries as we can well, at least with this guy, I can uh, just skim through his dialogue. These greens, I'll be back to buy whatever. Unlike the what is it, the cup noodles or whatever's going on. These greens, I'll be back to buy whatever you're willing to sell. So let me know if you got any okay. leftovers. Okay. Oh, we only get. Oh, there we go. I was like, wait a minute. I thought we were getting two of them, not one. But uh, okay, so we got all that. Let me see. With the attire. Uh, oh, we got, uh, well, something there with the uh, Final Fantasy 15 crossover, or 14 crossover with 15. Let's see, I thought there was, a, a, what is it, an attire you get with the, with the cup noodles there, though. I don't know if it's related to the quest or not. But in any case, we're done with that as much as we can. So yeah, since I don't want to activate the tour quest yet let's go to where i went last time what was that when if riverhead there we go i was like wait a minute is that the riverhead or the delta I get them mixed up all the time there's also a tour quest that we can do up there now that we are in chapter eight it becomes a bit or not a tour quest a timed quest that we can do up there well there is a tour quest but i don't want to do that one but I do want to do the time quest while we're in the area. Get a little more quest points. Let's hit it. But yeah, let's rest stop it. Well, whatever the closest haven is to the Vesper Pool, and this would be that. Okay, so with Elemancy, how are we doing? Yeah, a little more fire ought to be good. Though, how am I doing on my spells there? Okay, we got Fyra and Blizzara. Good to go. Not the direction I wanted to go, but it'll do. Let's see, where's the fire? Oh, I probably... 
Let me see. I probably used it already. Or maybe it's already... Hmm. Huh. Well, we got another one up north anyway. Let's call it a day. I'll see what I can whip up. Ah, there it is. Yeah, I see it on the map. It was just north of the ice elemental deposit. But it was grayed out there because, well, it's empty. So we won't go for that, but that's okay. We've got plenty of spells to last us for a long time. Okay, so... ah, What's with your neck there, dude? I mean, oh, how does that even work? Eh, maybe I should have saved that one. Eh, whatever. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so we got all that. Uh, let's see, with Gladio, yeah, let's keep working on Dawnhammer there. We've got some enemies that are going to be weak to that while we're doing all this. Make sure everyone's got confusion protection. But uh, let's actually get our other... Technique's good to go. Moving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just faster to warp back to the car than to climb all the way back up there. Okay, so what do we got? The Vesper Pool. There we go. For some reason, I thought the game might consider that like a... Uh, what is it? Like an outpost or something like that. But uh, no, no. They list all the outposts first. In a given region, and then they list all the other extraneous nice change of pace. parking spots. Okay, so we got that chocobo egg, but before we do that, let's see. I want to head over there, that way. And let's see, we got a chocobo meter for some reason. Not that anyone's going to be around to use it. Kind of wish they had an outpost here, but I guess that's what Meldasio is supposed to be for. But, uh, okay, let's uh, get over to, not really a lake, but uh, for the ride. a really big puddle. We'll meet again. <sighs> hmm. I'm thinking if I want to get the Blade of Brenner on Gladio, but, uh, nah, I don't think so. Oh, we could deal with these guys first. The hunt is on. Why not? As long as they're sufficiently far away, that's fine with me. You're on fire today. Yeah, why don't you uh, finish that one off there? I don't think I'm in combat with the... Uh, what are they? The gorillas yet, or it doesn't look like it. But uh, let's uh, yeah, try that one again. Are we good? Okay, good. Well, I guess we're up for the uh, the timed quest. Knocked on your left. But we're not. Yeah, there we go. What do you mean on my left? They're right in front of me. Unless there's more enemies around for us. But yeah, we got a whole bunch of garulets around here. So let's take those guys out first. Murder the children right in front of the parents, and then we'll take on the regular. Gorillas. Uh oh. Guess I pissed them off a little too much. But uh, yeah. Why don't we get out of there? Man, these guys are surprisingly fast. Come on, not hold still. Uh oh. Say your prayers. Yeah, let's get a dawn hammer on the Garulessa. They're gonna be the the toughest of the gorilla family. But uh, otherwise, okay. Now we can start going after the. Regular gorillas. Try and get out of the middle of all these guys. If I can. Okay, are they... No, they're not going to attack me. Okay, let me see if I can get behind them or not. We can go for the parry first. Not bad, not bad. Okay, we'll deal with uh, Garulessa later then. Or there's another one. Whoop! Whoop. Okay, we can kill them now. That works too. Fortunately, there's not too many of these guys. Okay, so... Get that guy. Oh, uh, yeah, with Gladio. Yeah, get more Dawn Hammer action going. 
I'm surprised it's taken me quite this long into the game to master Dawn Hammer. But however long it takes, we'll finish that one off. I'm not planning on mastering, like, every single technique. But I just figure if I have nothing better to do, I might as well. Oh, I'm surprised it didn't kill the guy after that crunch. Okay, so Garulata. See, one more level to go, and then we'll have it done. Whoop! Didn't mean to do that, but it'll work. Ha ha! Okay. I was about to say, there's like one target left, but there were multiples of them. But, uh, no, no, some of them were just waiting to die. <sighs> some enemies me, can't wait. But I felt kind of bad taking those things down. You're not. I didn't. Alone. But out in the wild, it's kill or be killed. And personally, I prefer the former. Okay, yeah, I need to get out of the water to. Oh, I guess I don't need to do it to call my chocobo. I don't know why the game wasn't letting me do that before. But in any case, yeah, let's just go back to the car. And we got some, or we got to find that chocobo egg around here. Oh, right. We already uh, got that good to go. Make sure you've got either an ice lance or a drain lance ready to go. Why don't we go with an ice lance or ice spear? That'll do. And I, hope, I don't want my chocobo interrupting me. We're close yeah, enough. They must be close. Well, let's see what we got. Be kind of hard to find around here. Not. They're after Whoa! Us. We have to drive them off fast. Oh. Get back. Yeah. Thanks for the warning. But, uh, okay, yeah, these guys are relatively low level. Easy enough. Okay, let's get out of there. Getting a little too crowded for my taste. I'm surprised I was able to parry that in time. I could have sworn I was late. Done and dusted. The egg is safe, but where's the mom? I don't see her. Hmm. Anyway... That's an egg? Is that it? No? Oh, yeah, the poor black chocobo. We gotta get Didn't it back stand to a chance. before it gets cold. Right, let's move. Don't worry about it. We can take our time delivering it back. And besides, I got more quests that I want to do in the area. I was about to say, wait a minute, who's attacking me? Over here. Cool. Go take care. Yeah. No, I wasn't part of the deal. Yeah. Well, at least I already got the ice lance ready to go. Okay, so let's pick up a treasure around here. And then we got another quest over there by the West Bank parking spot. Or not parking spot, a uh, fishing spot. Or whatever you call it. Hmm. Do the treasures not respawn? Or maybe they haven't respawned yet. I did pick them up somewhat recently. Okay, I guess they, it, it's not here. Let's uh, take our chocobo straight to the fishing spot then. Where are you? Let's go. But uh, yeah, that's the only treasure I think that's easily accessible here but let's see okay so okay yeah yeah we got a quest with uh, Nathan up ahead there you might have noticed that on the map but yeah he couldn't make it here until chapter 8 because the whole place was locked down but now we can do the quest for him is she really gonna leave the army you seem quite smitten with that. Hmm? Which one is it? Aww. What? Her or Cindy? RNA or Cindy? Oh, wow. Okay, uh, uh, let me think about this for a sec. 
I know down both of them. <laughs> wait. Hmm. Indeed. <laughs> but uh, okay, that's good enough. Nice riding with you. Well, at least we got some items resp some of the items respawning. Hmm. But uh, hey, Navith, haven't seen you since chapter three. <laughs> well, this is a funny place for you and me to meet. What are you after? <laughs> Knew you'd ask. Vespergar. But I'll be damned if the oh. creature devil ain't biting. Want me to have a go? <laughs> you think you can do better than a man who's been fishing since before you were knee-high to a guppy? Who knows? Maybe yep. I'll get lucky. All right, my boy. You're on. But don't wet your pants when he starts fighting you. How hard could it possibly be? Actually, it is a uh, fairly difficult fish to catch. Very high attack power. So, yeah. Let's get the vibrator going there. Hmm, I don't know if the ring matters. I think we'll be fine. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, what do we got? Yeah, let's make a back up there just in case. And see what we can do here. Okay, so to catch the Vesper Gar, I think the line is good. And I want to use the Ranker Tonberry Lure for this one. There are a couple other lures that work. Some of the stinker lures. But let's go with this one for now. We're looking for a large yellow dot. On the minimap there. Got their attention already. So yeah, I'm going to have to be pretty careful with when I lure... Or when I reel yes. the fish in. What the hell was that? I think I could have found the fish earlier, but I didn't think it was worthwhile because we didn't have the quest to do at the time. But yeah, I'm only going to hold down the reel button for like maybe a second or two early on at least until I get a better feel for the fish, this guy's diving cycle there. I think that is the fish that I'm looking for, though. I don't remember seeing a fish like that when I was fishing here in the previous chapter. Yeah, this guy seems to like to turn around just before diving. So, yeah, no quick taps, at least early in the fight. But uh, towards the end, I'll probably need some... To finish this guy off. It doesn't look that big to me. But whatever you guys say. Yeah, I'm doing... I should probably cut my reeling down to like a half second or so at this point. Whoop. Yeah, now they're really uh, hurting my durability. Okay, wait for the next dive. That's enough. Oh, that one was good. I was able to hold it down for like a second. But, uh, yeah, you can see even... Wow, this guy's really... Got it. Hurting. But, uh... Oh, right! We got it! The Vespergar! Massive! But, uh, yeah. We're done there. I don't think it was that big, but... Okay. Just wait until you see the next fish. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we found what you were looking for. First try. Not that hard. You didn't go and lend yourself a gar. Put up a hell of a mm -hmm. fight like you said. I never met anyone that got so good so fast. Color me impressed. Ha <laughs> ha. Hell, I reckon you could land the biggest prize of all. What's that? What's that one? Legendary giant they call the Devil of the Sigillum. If a name like that doesn't daunt you, head to Golden Key. I'll be there too, asking around. Oh, and before I sure. forget, if anyone can make good use of this, I reckon it's you. What's that? You're not gonna tell us, are you? But at least we're getting experience out of the quest there. But yeah, for catching the Vespergar, we get the Invincible Iron Maybe Giant Lure. Head to Key. I'll be oh. Too, asking around. 
Sounds like a plan. Let's see. Okay, so we're done with that. Yeah, now let's actually go back to Wiz Chocobo Post to deliver the egg. Cool. To, uh, uh well, tall tales Wiz. Of this fish, but does it truly exist? We could find Why not? It. Yeah. I guess we could. Well, let's head on over there then. Okay, so. Yeah, let's get over there. I think we're doing pretty good on. Uh, what was it? On my greens supply at this point for the chocobos. And then we'll head over to Golden Key. Not to rest up yet. There's still some other things that I, I want to do before throwing away my... Uh, what was that? My f food buff. Safe and sound. No mistake in the smell of chocobos. Hmm. Too bad it's not daylight here, though. But, uh... Eh, we'll be fine. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to do this quest first. Or at least early in the what chapter. An egg? For the reward we get out of it as soon as possible. Yeah. Well, I'm it's kind of hard to tell, but it's there. So warm. You leave it with me. I'll look after it. We never saw the mother. Oh, that's a shot for sure. But y'all saved the egg at least. I'll take good care of it. Make sure it hatches. Good luck. I'll send out word when it does. Y'all be sure to come and see the chick. And we'll look forward to it. Oh, yeah. I was planning on putting these vegetables up for sale. Hmm. But I want y'all to have them as a token of my thanks. Hey, all right. No better place so, yeah, those greens. Whiz. He knows what he's doing. We got to come back, guys. As soon as the chick has Yeah. Of course. But yeah, the greens he gave us give you all three of the buffs to a chocobo. But we only have the one right now, and we can't buy more yet. So remember that for later, viewers. But uh, okay, so we got everything here. Let's get over to the Vanith Coast. I'm not sure if the time of day would really matter. But uh, we can check it out, and if not... I can go to the nearby haven, at least. Oh, yeah, I should check out my quest points that we got. I think I'm still a bit of a ways away from finish or from getting enough for more AP, but I think we're getting close. How are we doing on gas, anyway? Oh, yeah. Negligible loss. Okay, so... Well, we got enough AP. So now we can learn a new recovery ability. Advanced first aid for Gladio. I don't know if he'll actually need it, but it's available. Okay, so... With the quest points... Oh, no, I'm not even close. Not for a while. Not that many left, either. But I'll see what we can do. I'm not going to repeat timed quests on the same day of the month. But, uh, hmm, I'm just thinking, yeah, why don't we uh, rest, or not rest up, but advance the clock a little bit here so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Thanks for the ride. Shall we camp here? No, I just need to wait around for a little while. Let me get some fire energy first. Huh. There you go. Okay, ah. now let's uh, get back over to pick up the fourth and final fishing quest. If I can ever get on my chocobo, yeah. that would help too. Okay, so just like you were saying, Navis here. So, I'm here to talk about this giant fish of yours. Just talk? Or are you planning to do some fishing? I don't know. That Maybe too. A bit of both? <laughs> I knew I could count on you. But you gotta know, this one ain't like them other fish. 
It's a very How hard shine. could it be? The folks have seen it, but no one's landed one, not in living memory. Every angler dreams of reeling them in. But so far, it's proven to be an unrealizable dream. Unrealizable, Not. huh? Wanna back out? Nah, I don't think so. I'm still in. But of course you are. <laughs> Big enough. In that case, best of luck to you. But, uh, yeah, to get this fish to spawn, you need to have a fishing level of 10 for Noctis. I know, because I've tried without it, and it didn't work. They wouldn't spawn. But, uh, yeah, even though we turned in the chocobo egg, we still got the quest left over. But, uh, for now, let's go catch the fish that we're looking for. Let's see, the Merc Grouper is the actual name of the fish. It's showtime. Okay, so this is going to be a large blue dot on the map there. And, hmm, I think we'll be okay on durability. But I'll have to be a little careful. Let's see. Okay, so I want to go for the Burrower Abyss Worm lure to catch this guy. Might be a little tricky trying to get the guy to actually see the lure. See, I thought I saw it. I think that's it down there. At least by the shape, though it's kind of hard to tell. Looks like this was one of those fish that moves around pretty fast, and I gotta get the lure in front of whatever direction they're facing, which can be hard to tell just by the mini map alone. Okay, just a little careful. Yeah, this one's going to be a while before I get the guy to even notice my lure. And this guy seems to be running away from my lure. Or swimming away. Whatever. No, I think it's facing up or left. Come on, come okay, on. this one should be good. Or not. That's. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell when they're actually just, like, taking a little break or if they're starting to change directions. They seem to, like, moving around, like, a few times in a different direction, and then they'll stop for a little while. Maybe I should try the other one. Maybe I just got the, uh, a different fish around here. No, I don't want the yellow fish to come after me. Or whatever the small yellow dot is. Okay, I think this might be the fish I'm looking for. It looks like it anyway. Uh, I was way too far away on that one. I'm surprised this is too far away. Okay, there we go. Got their attention. Nope. Not for long. Not long enough, anyway. That's... I thought that might have been close enough, but... Nope, nope. Okay, let's try that again. Come on. Not. I got the wrong fish. Yeah, I guess sometimes you just gotta clear out the small fish before you can get the big one to uh, really pay attention. There we go. Mm. Hmm. You've improved. But uh, we've already gotten that one. Okay, let's try this one again, pal. Where are you going? Okay, I think we got it. Yep. But, uh, did I lose their attention? That was weird. It seems like the aggro, like, dropped for some reason. Goodness. Okay, there we go. We got it. 
Now this guy has a lot of stamina, but not an extraordinary amount of attack power. So I think we'll be fine. Whoop. I could have caught this fish earlier, but I didn't want to until I had the quest for it. So no point in trying to catch this guy twice. Mm, I could probably hold down the real button for like three or four seconds on this guy every time they dive. And if I lose a little bit of durability on my fishing line, that's okay. I think we can afford to get in some quick taps periodically. Yeah, that was about three seconds holding down real on the fish there. I think there's another fish around here that looks a lot like this guy. Like a similar shape that I caught earlier. But I think they're like different colors or something. I forget precisely. Whoop! Yeah, now I can actually see where the fish is so I get a little better visual cue as uh, when this guy's gonna turn around. Maybe I should play this a little more conservatively there, rather than trying to get every single point of damage out that I can. Okay, probably gonna turn around. There we go. Mm, wasn't fast enough. But at least we haven't lost the guy yet. I wish whenever a uh, fish would jump out of water, the damage would like be based on a percentage of their stamina. I think it's just a flat amount of damage that it deals to them though. So if you got like a really big fish jumping out of water, it's not gonna really deal that much damage to them. But you gotta do it in order to keep the fish from getting away there. Okay, yeah, now I need to uh, be a bit more careful there. Yeah, I can hold down the real button for about two seconds now. Maybe a second and a half if I wanna be really cautious. But yeah, if I only get like one blink on the fishing tension, that should be fine. I just don't want to get two like that. Well, it doesn't seem to be struggling that much. Yeah, I figured this guy was gonna turn around pretty quick like that. Yeah, it seems like the smaller fish, whenever they jump out of water, it seems to make a much bigger difference on damage to them than it does to the bigger fish. Depending on how the mechanic works. Oh, man. Well, we're doing okay. As long as I'm, not, like, not below 500, we're fine. But if and when I dip down that low, then I'll need to be really careful only reel in when they're diving underwater instead of getting in a quick tap like this this really better be the fish that I'm looking for and not the wrong one but sometimes they're pretty similar so it's hard to tell you could wait until chapter 9 when we're going to get a a much better reel for dealing damage to fish. And that would make, especially the big ones, a lot faster to reel in there. But uh, I want to do it now and show you, hey, you don't need to do all that stuff. And besides, it's a rather fickle item to acquire. It's not as simple as doing a quest. 
or just buying it from a store. Okay, yeah, this is getting mm, a little closer than I'd like it to be. Yeah, now I can only reel in for about a uh, half second whenever this guy dives. So, fortunately though, this guy's not massively overpowered on attack power. And this guy's really turning around real fast, like a smaller fish would. And my thumb's about ready to fall off the button, or the analog stick knob, whatever you call the thing. Okay, come on, get in there. Hmm. I seem to be able to hold down the real button a little more on that one than usual. Just wait for it to hit a wall. Or whatever the limit is of where they can move. It seems like when they're re trying to resurface, I can hold down the real button a bit more than when they're first diving underwater. Hey, looks like I landed a dream. Ah, not bad. That's what a legend looks like. How should we uh, cook it? Ready to grab it? Bring it closer. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing? Oh, holy cow. I don't think we could have caught that thing with just a regular fishing rod. But yeah, this is what I was saying earlier with catching some of the bigger fish requiring Gladio. Because you need everyone in order to pull it out of the water. Respool the line before it's too late. Oh, yeah, I can do that too. Let's see, the next fish. Yeah, not too extraordinary, extraordinarily difficult. But I do want to turn this one in there to Navith and collect our prize. So yeah, there was a fish back in the Vesper Pool that I could have uh, found before. Well, it wouldn't spawn, no. Because we don't have Gladio with us to get it out of the water. But now we can. Is this it? I caught it. I never thought I'd see the day. The devil of the Sigillin dragged out of the waves. You're the hey. real deal, my boy. Though I shouldn't be calling you boy no more. Come to think well, of it, I never too. did get your name. Gar. Knocked Gar. Well, not Gar. Uh, Fisher of the devil okay. of the Sigillin. Your name's going down in history. You're part of the legend now. A living legend in point of fact. I look forward to your feet still to come. <laughs> you well, what do you me mean? A miracle today, and that's worth something. Here, this is for you, knocked car. And here we get the best fishing rod in the game. We are getting it. Right? Yeah, there we go. Tranquility. I'm on a journey seeking a fish fiercer and bigger than the devil of the Sigillin. Oh, really? How big could they possibly be? <laughs> not far. <laughs> Legend. I kind of like the sound of it. You were wise not to give him your real name. Maybe I'll change hmm. it officially. <laughs> okay, so we got all that taken care of. So let's see. I want to head back to the Stalin. We got some work that we could do there. Let's see. So Holly was saying something. Yeah, about all the steam valves in the area. Oh, yeah. And I still got to turn in that. Uh, what was that? Or is that the, the cup? No, that's a new one. Oh, I suppose I could have just. Warped back to my car, but... Eh, whatever. And it'll probably be dark by the time we get there, too. But, uh, yeah. Let's refill that. 
and go all the way over to Lestalem. There's actually a few things I want to take care of while we're there. And I need to buy some more beetroots while I'm here as well. I may want to change up my setup for the hunt there that I picked up earlier that I'll be doing now. Actually, it does need to be nighttime for the hunt, so that works out perfectly for us. Let me see what that other quest is about. Easy to sleep with civilization nearby. Nothing wrong with the outdoors, mm. but there's definitely safety in numbers. Let me see what we've got over here. I'm not exactly sure what's uh, going on. I don't have anything in my notes at the moment. Uh, what's this? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, what is that? So, remember how I picked something up at the market the other day? Oh, uh, I think so. Okay. Well, what are you doing here? You. What is it? You put your life on the line every day. So I wanted you to have a little insurance. A lucky charm. It's called a Oh. Ball. Okay. This one's going to look out for all you guys. Keep him by your side and he'll take care of you. And if he gets rough, I'll be near him. I'll be in Kayam. Later. Thanks. I guess. Is that a quest or? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I, I know about this. I didn't mention it until a bit later, I guess. But uh, yeah, we can use that to uh, like aggro enemies, I guess. I, I never use it really, but I suppose you could if you wanted. But uh, okay, so we got a whole bunch of those steam valves that Holly wanted us to fix up so let's see what we can do I need to go over by the weapon shop call us munitions where we can find the first one I'm looking for the war is won yet they continue harvesting for soldiers now that you mention it hmm. it does seem like overkill huh yeah I wonder what the point is hmm I, I know he's talking about the Empire but other than that, I don't know. Okay, so let's see. Around here. Ah, here we go. Uh, or not? Hmm. I can see some steam, but I can't tell where it's coming from. There's supposed to be some valves on one of the walls that we can fix there maybe it's further further down I mean I know it's to the southeast of the weapon shop you know oh there it is struggle a bit without you oh yeah couldn't get the fire going but you could have just cast a spell kind of overkill don't you think hopeless mm. next time I'll show you hacks how it's done oh thanks Thanks, Gladio. One. Looks okay. Okay, then there's one that's more south than southeast of the weapon shop. Let's see, maybe it's uh Ah, there we go. No problem with this one. Okay, then we need to go to the west of the weapon shop there. They knocked. Check it out. What is it? Hmm? Yeah. Oh. What do you got over here? Oh. Uh, Damn. Okay. That looks good. Go grab one if you want. You bet I want. I'll find a joint later. Okay, let's uh, continue looking for the valves then. Let's see. Should be one in the little hallway between here and there. Hmm. 
Well, I see one obvious there. If I can interact with it, so much better the better. Is. Looks like there's another one right next to it, practically. Huh. Yep, there we go. Easy this enough. One needs a fix and quick. Okay, then there's one east of Sergate's bean mine. I think that means... Ah, oh, there it is. I was going to say this down the is. alley there, but that works too. And let's see, there's a couple that we can also do. Uh, what is it? Closer to the power plant. But before doing that, let's go get the beetroot that I need before I forget again. Okay. Yeah, we might as well take advantage of the discount we got here. Oh wow, I'm I was really close to Thank running out of those. Thank you. Please come again. I think I've got enough of everything else that we need for that. Okay, now I need to get over to the power plant. Let's see, that one's okay. But uh for the last two valves or wait a minute. Oh, there's one one more around here to the northwest of Sergate's Bean Mine. I missed it on the way up here. Whoops. Too bad I can't dash around the place. Oh yeah, here's uh Beanon's trading post. Oh, and a little picture. But uh yeah, here's where you would get one of the Big city, here we come. Keck sweats. Okay, so. Okay, so here's the spot, and then I guess to the northwest or something? Oh, there it is. This one needs a fix, and quick. Okay, and the last two will be south of the power plant area. So, yeah, let's go over to the the northeast this time. No, I don't need to collect any more hunts. I've already... Yeah, we got the one. Okay, I guess that's just coming out of the sewer there or something. Ah, there's one. This one's seen better days. Okay, and then one more should be fairly close by, I think. Is this one okay. it? This one's fine, as far as I can tell. Okay, looks good. Oh. That's the last of them. Uh, no way anyone oh, can do okay. this with a bad back. She certainly needed the help. She appreciates oh. it for sure. Yep. Let's hurry back. I suppose. The good news. I thought for a second there that was one one of the wrong valves, but uh, nope, nope, we got it. Hey, how's it going? Check them all. Everyone. Yeah. All Fixed it. No problem. Thank you. While you checked valves, I had my back checked out. But the doctor, he Good just said you. it was a bad case of the nerves. Oh, yeah? I hear the word demon uh -huh. stiffen up like a corpse. Anyway, here's a little something. Buy yourselves a meal. Well, at least we're getting quite a bit of experience out of this, or at least a decent amount, compared to other recent events. Uh. Oh, and we get another quest ah, from her. My favorite hunter. Hey, can you do a girl a favor? Sure. What is it? We're in charge of operating the ropeway, and it's acting up. We need to figure out the problem. First thing is fact gathering. Can you go and take a look at the pylons that are outside? There's no oh. way I can send okay. you with the regular staff out there. It's just too much for them to handle. I'd go is that myself. Like with the cable cars? The plant workers are having a massive dispute. I'm the only one um. who can sort it all out. Sounds like a plan. 
I think there's a few of them that we need to check, actually. Yeah, there we go. I don't envy being caught in that dispute. Nope. The folk hmm. working here are tough as nails. You think it's as dangerous as she says? I don't know, but I don't want to find out. So she hears the You're word about to. and that throws her back up? Yep, that's pretty much what it sounds like. Gotta be careful what we say around people, in case we give them a hernia or something. Ordinary folks <laughs> have much to fear in uncertain times as these. Hmm. When aren't we in uncertain times? I mean, people talk about it like it's not normal. But, uh, okay, so yeah, we can go back into the power plant here to take on another hunt. Let's see, so I think, let me check this out, compare the two. Oh yeah, this is much better, much more powerful than that. But I think we can give a Blade of Brenner to Gladio to help out. Let's see, how are we doing on Dawnhammer? Hmm, still got quite a bit of work to do on that one. I was thinking about using uh, Fyra on these guys. But I think I'd rather get more work on, uh, what was that? On Dawn Hammer, and I forgot to turn off my vibrator. There we go. Try that one again, pal. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. Now let's soften up the next one. Aha! Uh -huh. That's more like it. Try to go with a good finishing move every now and then. Oh, wow, we killed two of them at once. Nice. Okay, um... Yeah, I saw someone getting ready to jump up there like that. One of those guys. Okay, next one. Uh, I could have gotten another parry in there. Well, fortunately, these guys don't have too much HP. Just die already! We are good. There you go. Good to go. Let's see. There is an elevator that we could take up there, but uh, I don't think there's anything there right now. There is a, a hunt that'll take us up there, but not right now. But uh, we can at least turn this one in at uh, Sergate's Bean Mine. Um, yeah, let's go. No, let's go the other way. The other way, I think, is more direct to get there. Yeah, there we go. But uh, we can move around a little faster, jumping around everywhere. Welcome. Just like real life. Impressive work out there. Yeah, not quite enough to get up to rank 6, but we're getting there. And then that'll help unlock a lot more hunts Some as well. Okay, so... Recently, these oh, yeah, we've gotten all that about. out of the way. Okay, so... How's our food buff doing? Good enough. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go back over there and make it daytime. And I want to go back to the Alpine Stable parking spot. Everything in order. Where That's we should have uh, another broken car to fix. So make sure you've gotten... What are those? The repair kits already. I did buy them, right? I'll double check that in a moment. Besides, I've probably got a whole bunch of stuff that I can sell at this point okay so repair kit yeah there you are so yeah we've gotten those ready to go see so yeah, i don't think i need a hydraulic cylinder anymore yeah we're good on that and we already got or did the barb scythe upgrade monster claw upgrade hold on to the rose scales i forget exactly how many of those i need to do a 
full Xperia cast out of them. But uh, yeah, I might as well sell stuff now because I'm not really going to be doing very much driving. Like on the way to new places or something. I'll hold on to the Magitech core, though it is worth a very good amount of money. But I think it's useful for... Uh, what is it? For Elemancy as a component, if I recall correctly. But there's really not much I need to hold on to as far as, like, side quests go or anything like that. Yeah, there we go. Platinum ingot picked up a while ago. Not as valuable as the Magitech core, but take what we can get. Not that I really need the money at this point. But I just want to clean things up a little bit there. I don't think I use any of these things for elemency or side quests. So just get rid of all that stuff. Okay, we're finally getting to the end. Okay, let's see what we got as far as that goes. Okay, so with the rose scales... Yeah, I need 12 in order to max that out. So that's not happening yet. But uh, mage tech cores are good for quint cast if you wanted to use that. But... Oh yeah, and it duplicates spells quite a bit actually i don't think it'll be worthwhile but i'll hold on to it in the event that i change my mind okay so now we need to go to alpine stable in clean there you are and then we'll head on or continue up to meldacio where we've got a lot of new stuff that we can nice change do pace. over there. We also have the quest from Dave, finding the dog tag, that we'll need to turn in there. Anything else around here? Well, we got a little treasure, but other than that... Let's go. If I recall, I think there's a few treasures over by the barn there. And yeah, there we go. Thanks, buddy. How the car got over here through the railings there, I don't know. But it's here, and we should help the guy out. Yeah, this uh, broken car quest was a little tricky for me to pin down the sequence trigger for it. Thank goodness you're here. My car is stuck. Well, not for long, if you pay my price, that is. What's that noise? What a relief. Hmm. Thank you. All in the Maybe you should just start keeping them around in the trunk of your car. Instead of, you know, hoping someone will bail you out like this. It'd be a lot cheaper for you, too. Okay, so we got... I thought there was another one around here. Yeah, there we go. Can I get it? There we go. Okay, yeah, now let's uh, get back and continue up to Melvasio. Huh? Now that the Vesper Pool is opened up, there's a whole bunch of other things that we can do while we're there. Ah, there we are. Right in front of me. So yeah, I'm guessing that with the Vesper Pool being closed, I'm guessing that's why earlier in the game, when I was trying to fast travel from Meldacio to other places, it would kind of lock me out for some reason. Because we couldn't go through the route that the game wanted me to. Why it just couldn't reroute, I don't know. But I do know that we can get hey, a lot more. more hunts here now. How have you all been lately? Here's what's on the prowl. And yeah, let's go, go collect all of them. I think they're all in the Vesper pool. This one? 
Which one was that? Um, oh, the Lich. Yeah, it's uh, well, in the dungeon there. Go Some of these here. hunts will overlap with each other. But they spawn like during day or night. This one? And one time when I was... Oh yeah, that's in the dungeon there. But yeah, one time when I was doing the quest, it was still daytime, but it was almost nighttime. And by the time I got, got the there, the daytime hunt already spawned, but the nighttime hunt was just about to. And I ended up having to fight both of them at once. This one? Don't do that! Well, they're not going to be very lovable for long. Station. Not if I have anything to say about it. Huh. Let's see, we got Dave around here. So we can turn in, well, not the last dog tag, but we're getting to the end of his quest line. Hey, Thanks for how's it going? Part. Now I'll do my part and return this to that hunter's family. Sounds like a plan. Wow, lots of experience. I might want to go back to... Uh, Golden Key to get an experience buff out of that. And looks like uh, we got a new quest that we can pick up here as well from uh, some guy. Hey there, brother. Hi. Don't act so surprised. Hey. I know a fellow hunter when I see one. Right. Oh. And as my okay. brother, I was hoping you might take care of a little problem for me. A problem named a Melazine. Melu who? Uh -oh. A pretty lady who appears at the Vesper Pool in the dead of night, luring in fellows who can't see she's a demon in disguise. She's already had her way with a handful oh. of hunters. What do you say? Avenge your brothers? Fine. Anything for the sure. family, right? Attaboy. Good luck. Uh, we'll keep an eye out for her. But this one is a very high level hunt. I'm surprised they actually even give it to you. At this point, yeah, level 99. How am I supposed to beat something that's remotely the same level as I am? But, uh, yeah, so we're going to save that one for a bit later there. And what do we got? Okay, yeah, yeah, so probably going to take out the... The ones during the daytime, or the hunt during the daytime before the... Ones that we got at nighttime there. But can we catch the Liege of the Lake in the Vesper Pool? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy XV. This is H.G. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.